Okay, so typically with interior elevations in Revit, often um, they're, they're missing a perimeter line that runs around the entire um, view. So in an interior elevation, you want a heavy line that hits where your finished floor is, where the face of wall, finished ceiling, face of wall. You want that perimeter line. Um, but the problem in Revit is that it's going to have a crop box here, and that crop box will show up in your Revit file, but then when you print it as a PDF, it automatically gets hidden. So when it prints, it'll, be, it'll look like this, and it won't have a continuous line. Uh, so one of the workarounds that I've found in Revit to do that. So let's say this is an interior elevation. So I've gone into Revit. This is just a sample model. I've gone into Revit. I've created an interior elevation by going to view, elevation, and then I put my mouse uh, close to the wall that I want and I clicked and I created this interior elevation. When I double click on this, it'll take me to that interior elevation. And by default, I think this started out somewhere around here. So what I've done is I've pulled the crop box out here so that it's well beyond that. And like I said, with an interior elevation, I want, I, I haven't modeled the roof or floor here, but I want the perimeter to be like this. I want a solid line that's just gonna run along the inside face of every surface. So one of the workarounds to do this is to go to annotate region. So instead of filled region, we're going to go to a masking region. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a rectangle on the inside of this. And that's going to be my heavy line or my medium line. And then I'm going to create a rectangle outside of that. So it's going to basically create white out along the entire perimeter of this with no line on the outside rectangle and a medium line on the inside rectangle. Okay, so with invisible lines set, I'm going to create a rectangle that's going to encompass everything outside of my drawing. And then I'm going to then set this to medium, or we can go with wide lines. Wide line, I'm going to make another rectangle, and I'm going to use that to follow the interior finished surfaces of my model. All right, then I'm going to hit the green check. And now what's happening is it's cropping with whiteout, essentially, everything that's outside of that view range, everything that's outside of my interior elevation. Okay, so I can adjust this as needed and drop this in. If you have a vaulted ceiling and you want to show that, you can edit this as well. So let's say my ceiling is sloping like that, or my roof structure is sloping. I can edit this and modify it to be what I want. So if that's the correct angle, TR for trim, I can adjust this and it's going to mask out everything that I don't want to see. For an interior elevation, you don't want to see wall thicknesses, floor thicknesses, roof. It's just this surface to surface. Okay, so this will print the way you want it to. Um, you can even select this and say uh, uncheck crop region visible. So that's gone. And now when you print this, you'll have an interior elevation that is accurate to your drawing.